Hey everyone, welcome back to Non-Professional. We are back with a new big series of videos and uh, I'm so excited to be making normal YouTube videos again. For those of you who are new to the channel, basically I've been doing a series on content creation and that has taken up most of the videos on the past like 10 Saturdays. But I just wanna thank you guys for your support and I'm gonna stop talking about it right now because that series is over, that era is over and uh, you, you guys can go check out that series if you wanna learn how to become a YouTuber. Now I'm, gonna, I'm a very minimalist person when it comes to my phone. I really don't have a lot of stuff on my, stuff on my phone and that is, uh, well, the, what, the number one reason for that is because I only have 64 gigabytes of storage. And the second reason of the, for that is because my phone is a very on-the-go on the go thing. Most of my things are on my computer and my computer is way more cluttered. But I do use my phone for a lot of things. Here is a look into my phone. So this is an iPhone 10 for those of you who are wondering. And uh, let's unlock this. Of course, we gotta be rocking the 1975. A lock screen so let's unlock this and let's go into this first page so we're in ios 14 now obviously and everybody's like obsessed with widgets and stuff i tried to do widgets but i found out it would take me too long and i'd be wasting a lot of time that i could be using to make youtube videos like this so i just made something very that looks aesthetically nice but didn't take that long to do so th this first page is very simple this first page i have my widgets for my time i have widget smith which is something we'll talk about in just a second. And we have, uh, a, I have a quote here. This is obviously my motto for non-professional and I wanna and I want to live by it as much as possible. And I have my, I have all my native apps because I feel like a lot of the native apps are actually black and white. So I put a lot of black and white stuff in this very first one. So obviously we have settings, we have compass, measure. These are all apps I don't really use very often. We have calculator there. So nothing really around here. And obviously on the dock, we have, I have WhatsApp, I have photos. And I have a camera and a Safari. These are the four apps I use a lot. But uh, if we go to the next page, I have another widget smith. Um, this is a widget for my photos. And for those of you who don't know what widgets are, you probably know what it is. There's like a lot of people who do really, really crazy stuff for their widgets. This is basically my second page. And I basically have my, my green and yellow apps on this. I'm, I'm kind of color coding my apps. So there really isn't any category in terms of like productivity and work and stuff like that. I'm the type of person who likes to swipe down and just search up stuff. So I don't really, I'm not the person who swipes around looking for the app and find the app, open it, you know. So I am more of a swiping down and searching for the app person. So I thought it would be nice to make everything look aesthetically pretty and one way to do that was just color coding shout out to uh, world of color go follow her on instagram she actually posted something on her instagram story inspiring me to do all this uh color coding stuff but anyways uh if we go over here we have find my iphone we have books we have maps that i don't really use very often because i'm not going out and even if i go out i basically know my way around so i don't really use maps all that often we have google keep this is something that i'm do i'm i've been using a lot uh these are some notes on more than a video that i just kept and a cool thing about google keep and that the reason why I don't use Apple Notes is because this can be synced to my computer as well. I have a, I do not have a Mac, so I can't like sync stuff, Apple stuff. So it's kind of a weird cross. So I try to use Google apps so that I can kind of sync in between uh, my computer and my phone so that it makes everything very efficient for myself. I want to have as much as, I want to have a very efficient experience on my phone. So these are just some notes and links I have over here. So I have ever, if I ever need to access any of these links, then I have just a random note here. And I, I, I like to use this because again, it can just be synced up to my computer. So that's Google Keep. Uh, I have a guitar tuner, which I use if I don't have access to a tuner when I'm playing guitar. And obviously my notes here, which I don't use at all. I have my hangouts. And um, over here, here's a game that I play uh, when I have time. And uh, this is actually a game that I play on the iPad because I use four fingers for it. It's just a better display. But this, this is just, in my opinion, one of the most phenomenal first person shooter games of all time. I know a lot of people uh, stick by PUBG and Fortnite and stuff like that. I consider this to be one of the best of all time. I know a lot of my friends are probably gonna kill me over saying this, but I enjoy playing this game. And it's pretty it's pretty cool in terms of graphics. And uh, you know, you can get a lot of inspiration for like art and stuff. I don't wanna justify uh, doing that because playing video games isn't so productive, especially if you're not a gaming YouTuber, uh, but I do play this from time to time. And if, I, if you want me to make a video on Call of Duty Mobile, and by the way, this is not sponsored, uh, do leave it in the comment section. Here is my Spotify, and these are just some songs that I've been listening to recently. I've been listening to a lot of 80s rock, but I've also been listening to a lot of recent indie pop rock. So uh, that, that's just some of the stuff I've been listening to. And we got the native apps that uh, I use, obviously messages, FaceTime, and phone. And then I have my widgets battery here just to add to the green aesthetic, just to make it look nice. And I have another widget smith photo right here. Uh, I just put random photos in random albums, and I just put them in the widget smith. And 
I put them into different color codes. Moving on, this is my blue home screen. And obviously here we have Widget Smith and Widget Smith, I have all my different widgets and uh, made up and you guys can also have your different widgets made up through Widget Smith. It just gives you a bunch of different options. Obviously with iOS 14, they only, they only gave you select widgets, but with widgets, you can do a lot more like the quote I have right here or there's different photos or stuff like that. With iOS 14, I was pretty excited for the widgets, but I wasn't very impressed by the number or diversity of widgets that they gave us. They only gave us a couple. So I downloaded Widget Smith and then that I, I feel that that made my whole home screen look really nice. And I over here have Amazon Music, which I use when I'm not using Spotify because obviously I don't have premium right now. So I just use Amazon music if I'm on the go so I can download stuff and I have prime video. I use this when I'm drawing um, and I need to get like a certain shot from a movie. I don't want to drag my computer in. I can just use prime video and I can like get a movie if it's in there. I, I don't, I don't use that very often. Then I have WordPress over here, which I use just to, just for, I actually don't use this app very often. I use WordPress. This is just for non-professional. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the non-professional blog at wordpress.com that you guys can go check out in the, in the description below. I will have a blog. I actually do have a blog there that I'm trying to keep up. And uh, so yeah, there's some cool stuff I'm doing. And this is just the, so I can keep track of all the stuff. I, don't, I write on my computer. I do not write on my phone. Uh, over here, we have Tasks, which is another Google app that I can sync to my computer. So these are just, this is just a, a task uh, app that I'm using. And uh, today is Sunday, so I don't really have any tasks, but tomorrow I will have a full list of tasks that I can just keep scrolling and I have to finish a bunch of stuff. And uh, this these tasks and keep all synced to Google Calendar. Uh, which is, as you can see in the past, the past couple weeks have been really cluttered with school and stuff. And uh, obviously more than a video, which has just been finished. And then we also have OneDrive, which can also be synced to my computer. And this is now just telling you guys just how many email addresses I have for different things. I have my personal email address. I have Outlook addresses. I have business email addresses. It's just a lot of stuff to keep up, especially if you want to use different servers like, you know, OneDrive. I actually just use OneDrive for keeping an archive of my stuff. So here's like some of my art stuff um that i've made in the past here's here's some pictures i just wanted to transfer from my phone uh, i use i use onedrive a lot for transferring voice memos because uh voice memos i feel like the instead of like you know plugging it in and searching through itunes and stuff like that i feel like the one of the most efficient ways is just th through onedrive i just use voice memos from this first page i record something and i send to onedrive and then i can access it through my computer right so it's very efficient then here's a shortcuts app. Just these are these three are just miscellaneous apps. Hours tracker, weather, and shortcuts. These are apps that I have, and they do I do not use them at all. Shortcuts. I know that you can actually turn like shortcuts into icons and stuff like that, but I'm not I'm not doing that for now. Over here we have my red page. I have a lot less red things, so I can make it a little bit cooler by adding. Um, you know, like red pictures. Here's a stock photo I downloaded from the internet. And basically what I did was I modified to make it a little bit more pink because everything around here was a little bit pinker than strong red. This was a very strong red photo to begin with. Over here, we have uh, a picture of the 1975. This is just another, uh, again, my favorite band at the point, at this point. So basically I have four apps and these are probably the apps that I use on a daily basis. This page holds all the apps that I use on a very daily basis. So I have Gmail, YouTube, YT Studio, and Instagram. So for Instagram, uh, shameless plug to the art addicts which is a current feature account that I'm doing with a friend world in color I mentioned her before uh, and uh, here is just some of the stuff we've been featuring some very talented artists out there if you just only go look and it's been a really cool project for me uh, just to finding all these cool art uh, this one for example and all these really cool artworks around the internet and just posting them and uh, making everybody's life a little bit happier just by posting art and also you know, motivating other artists just by sharing their art. And it's a really cool community we have up there. So go leave them a follow if you are on Instagram. So that's Instagram, right? Right. I also have YouTube studio, which I can just use to take a look at my current stats and my video rankings and stuff. And I'd like to take a look at this on my phone when I have a chance, you know, if I'm, if I'm just lying there and I have nothing to do, just take a look at stats and maybe reply to a couple comments. So these are the past couple comments that I've been getting on my videos. At the time, the last video that I uploaded was the last episode of More Than A Video, which was, you know, the seven ways that will make 
you change the way you make content. And uh, for example, I forgot to heart this comment. I can just heart that comment and I can just scroll through them. I like doing that sometimes. And uh, I just do that in YouTube studio. So obviously here is my YouTube. I watch that when I have time. And then I have Gmail, which obviously uh, I can reply to emails on. And over here, we just have, I just have miscellaneous apps that I haven't really organized into anything yet. But, uh, but other than that, that is, these are all my apps. And I just want to thank all of you for watching this video. So I thought that it would be kind of cool to start this whole, you know, like personal, more personal swing on YouTube videos and start doing a little bit of lifestyle on non-professional. Let me know what you think. There's a bunch of new new niches of content coming up to the channel. So you never know what's gonna come up. Maybe I'll do some music at some point. Maybe I'll do some, we'll, we'll definitely still be continuing art. I just wanna leave you with this one last thought and that is your phone can really be used as a tool for productivity. And uh, these are just some of the apps that I'm using. And I hope you're inspired by this little video. That's gonna be it for today. We might talk a little little bit about my phone again maybe in the future maybe next year when ios 15 comes out but as of now this is what my phone looks like and i'm not going to be messing around with it too much so this is what it's going to be looking like for probably like about the next year and if i ever update it uh i will see if i can make a video on it but other than that leave your comments down below so for what you want to see any type of youtube videos that you want to see whether it's like among us or call of duty or whatever that is leave me a comment i, I will be replying to you i will be hearting your comment down below but thank you for watching and we will see you next time